Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quick video showing you how to get a Power App into an Azure DevOps code repository, uh, which is cool for a few reasons, and the main one being is that this will allow you to work simultaneously with other developers in the same Canvas app. Uh, the next one being is you can view all of the source code of the app uh, in one area, whether it be Azure DevOps itself uh, or within Visual Studio Code. So if you get a project from someone else or you haven't worked on a project in a while, um, right now you have to go in control by control to view all the PowerFX code and kind of see what's going on. And this will allow you to look at the entire app screen by screen. Uh, so a little bit more visibility into the app. Um, and the third one is this kind of lays the groundwork for some more kind of advanced ALM capabilities down the road. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. For the sake of this video, I just built a test app, uh, but this will work on existing power apps that you may have. Uh, so first we're going to need to turn on the Git version control setting and to do that you're going to want to come up here to settings um, Go to upcoming features and then click on the experimental tab uh, And you're going to want to scroll all the way down and find the show the Git version control setting So once we click that a new tab will pop up here that says Git version control And if you click on that it'll want to connect to um, a Git repository so if we click connect now, it's going to ask us for a repository URL, the branch, and directory. Um, so now we're going to switch over to Azure DevOps and, so, and show you how to get that information. So we're going to have to build a new uh, Azure DevOps project. Um, so project name, we're just going to say DevOps video. You can add a project description, make it public to your organization, or keep it private to you. Um, we're going to go ahead and click create and this will take a little bit, but shouldn't take too long. So we have a new DevOps project uh, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to repos on the left side. Um, and this address right here is what we're going to need to copy uh, for the URL back in Power App. So make sure you save that on a notepad somewhere. Um, and you're going to want to come down here to initialize main branch with a readme or git ignore. Uh, we're just going to say initialize. All right, so now that we have our main branch initialized, we're gonna to wanna to go back to Power Apps and feed it some of that information. So paste the uh, repository URL, branch we're gonna say main, and you can make the directory name whatever you want. We're just gonna say test, uh, click apply. Um, so now it's gonna want a username and password, uh, and the password is not going to be your AD accounts password. Uh, it is actually going to be a personal access token that we will generate in Azure DevOps. So we'll go back to DevOps now. Uh, and to do that, up in the top right where it says user settings, you want to click that. Scroll down to personal access tokens. Uh, and then on the left, we'll click new token. So we're going to give the token a name of just test token. Um, and from here, you can see that we can kind of define the access uh, to give a user with the token, whether it's through the work items in Azure DevOps, uh, direct code, read and write management, uh, the build and release side of things. Uh, for the sake of the video, we're just going to give it full access. Uh, and up here, you can set a expiration date. Um, these things can be regenerated. Um, I think you can go up to almost a year of access though. Um, for the sake of this video, we're gonna say 90 days. Uh, so 90 days, full access, and we'll click create. Now that we have our uh, personal access token created, we're gonna wanna copy that and keep it in a safe place as once we close out of this, it is going to be gone and not visible to us anymore. Um, and with the token now, we can go back to the app, paste that in as the password, uh, paste in our account for the username and click sign in. So like I said, we didn't create a directory in DevOps, uh, but it will take the one we put. So we're gonna say yes. And now we have successfully put our Power App into an Azure DevOps code repository. So as far as working with Power Apps, now that it's in the repo, nothing really changes other than the fact that every time you log into the app, you need that personal access token. Um, and the biggest one uh, is up here. Uh, you can see this new button that's been added. And if you hover over it, it says commit changes and check for Git updates. Um, so now this is how you're going to actually save all of your progress instead of going the normal method of file and save app. Um, this is how you're going to save from now on. They don't really do a good job of telling you that uh, and I have lost a lot of changes in a few applications because of this. But yeah, from now on, if you make a change like that, you just click the save button here um, and you're good to go. So the last thing I wanted to show you is how to view the source code in DevOps. Uh, you want to go back to repos and we can see our directory here test has been made. And if you click in test and go over to source. Um, this is where all of your screens would load as YAML. So you can see this app only had one screen. Uh, we have a button, some labels, uh, text fields here. And if we click on screen one, we can see all of our assets as YAML, uh, which is pretty cool. In addition to being able to do this in Azure DevOps, you can also do this in GitHub, and I'll be making a video on that here shortly. The process is pretty much the same. 
Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out in the comments uh, and we'll see you in the next video.